have you always wanted a unique car key? If answer is yes, you are in the right place because today I will build my own from the Hot Wheels diecast model. Welcome back everyone to Build Love Repeat. It's good to be back. Thanks everyone who gave a thumbs up and the, hit the comment section in the previous video. If you didn't saw a previous my comeback video actually, uh, hit the corner, uh, I think that one or that one. Some of the corners, uh, top uh, top right corner. Today I will actually build two things, key fob for my Porsche, uh, version two things like that, because I will try to make it with a sliding key. We'll see, does the uh, construction of the car allow it? I'm not sure. And the second thing is seat. To understand what kind of seat, watch till the end. Let's begin. <laughs> Hey guys i'm back in my workshop it's the next day i'm hanging in my chair which i built yesterday pretty pretty comfy yeah let's jump on the main topic of this video how to build your own cars uh, key fab from hot wheels diecast model i will show my way how i uh, decided to create a key fab from hot wheels but i think you can also follow the steps and uh, create uh, your own car i will also leave a link in the description to porsche 944 guards red there is also some other models like the golden one magnus walker's uh, livery 944 so i will leave them in the description so you can go and check it out buy yours if you want to build uh, also a key fab from the uh, hot wheels uh, different cars so of course you can uh, also follow the link and try to find your uh, specific model of the diecast car but uh, i think in a the construction they are pretty much the same uh, there will be always a space for a key at the bottom of the car and uh, definitely you can try to build in buttons from your uh, alarm system i don't know because i don't have uh, such a thing so i will do let's say easiest way when you have only key and you have a central locking system yeah i also went to a locksmith created two i just made a one extra i think i will use this one as i'm 100 percent sure that it have a metal so uh, yeah if you have a key be sure that it's a uh, metal uh, not plastic here i think they all are with the metals in the plastic because you need to drill it and somehow make a possible that it will not gonna turn but the key will be just straight here it will be easy to uh, warp it around and so on so yeah we need to create something like uh, uh, wings uh, which are uh, on the sides and uh, spread uh, the power of uh, turning i hope this video will help you create your own diecast model car key Now I apply the paint remover on the body of a car. I think you can use any of paint removers which you can get uh, in the Home Depot because I had uh, only one choice and uh, actually it was a good one because first of all it was in spray can so you can easily spray it, you didn't need to use anything else. While I was waiting when paint remover activates, I started working on the key. I removed the plastic from the key and uh, we can see that it's actually a good material to work with because we have a lot of metal here 
And uh, as I mentioned before, maybe we can cut some wings to be sure that holds your turning power. Now I will try to remove first layer of uh, paint because uh, it's not uh, so easy sometimes and you need to maybe a couple times spray again uh, to be sure that all paint is gone from body. see this stays in the angle so I have a negative angle here so I need to figure something out and actually solution came pretty quick uh, Dean Bushings was uh, on the original office chair on the bottom cushion so uh, I will use them I will cut it in half squeeze them in and I think this will be a great solution so let's try <music> Pushing is in two pieces. I actually cut it with my Leatherman knife. This is not a sponsored product. And actually I got this knife as my Christmas gift from my fiance and her mom. I'm really thankful to them because uh, I am using it uh, as much as possible and I'm really happy with the gift. It's a really, really useful tool to have in your pocket, in your car. And uh, it actually can save you in some kind of tricky situations. Maybe you also need to, I don't know, screw something you know, and uh, your car is broken on the way somewhere. So it's good to have it in your pocket or car. I will leave a link in the description to my uh, knife so you can go and check it out. Uh, maybe you can also find your uh, special tool. This is it guys, project chair is done. I'm really happy how it went. I finally have a place where to rest on the first floor because all the time I was sitting in my uh, Recaro seat, even when I am wearing a dirty clothes. So this is not right. If you find this useful or I inspired you to create the same chair uh, for yourself, hit thumbs up, I appreciate that. And consider to subscribe for my channel. First person who will answer the most precisely how long it took to build such a chair will receive a t-shirt with the, my Porsche on it. So comment below. I almost done with the slot for uh, the key here. I uh, already cut it in the right dimensions to be able to slide in uh, the key. And now actually you need to decide will you go as a sliding key or you go with a fixed key because if you go with a fixed key uh, you can use this uh, pin as a place where to put on the key. Be sure that it will not uh, move. And uh, also you will use uh, it as a screw uh, to screw uh, down the bottom of the car. And of course uh, you need to also uh, cut off these uh, teeth which goes against uh, axle here and holds it in place. Because uh, uh, otherwise you're not gonna uh, close the car. Uh, don't forget about how deep should the key go in. And um, yeah, you also need to cut all the materials uh, inside of the car, inside of the body, to be sure that uh, everything fits. And uh, yeah, so uh, as I go in uh, version two with the sliding key, I need to cut off this pin and uh, still a uh, long way forward. If you are going with a fixed key, it's actually almost finished because uh, you just need to uh, cut uh, unwanted the uh, pieces of uh, plastic and you are good to go. 
uh, screw in and uh, yeah, get ready to use and to just uh, spray if you need it. In the case of uh, sliding key, you still need to figure out the housing. I still don't know what kind of housing I will make and uh, maybe I will 3D print, but I'm not sure uh, will it um, hold turning power and so on. So uh, I will cut now this uh, pin because it's on the way. Then I will be able to make straight uh, edges of uh, slot and be sure that the key slides pretty well. Also, a good point, be sure that you create a precise uh, slot for the key. Uh, that's actually my thoughts because then you will be able to slide it perfectly in and out. And uh, actually also uh, there will be a material which will hold a key in this place and uh, you will be uh, able to turn it uh, easily uh, without any uh, kind of scare that you will break. I think uh, still don't know, need to test uh, after I will complete. There is actually uh, another important thing which you need to be sure about. Uh, as you remember, I mentioned about this uh, uh, mark when you insert in your ignition uh, lock. So be sure that you have marked and uh, this will uh, actually help you maybe for some kind of couple of millimeters uh, uh, to save because uh, I plan to do it as close as possible to the car just to be sure that uh, key is not, uh, the ignition is not touching the car because otherwise you will have some marks on the front. The important thing is how it goes into your rear lock. You need to remember about your spoiler. Still need to do some adjustments. Possible issue. Uh, as you see here, uh, car is touching. So it still uh, could be okay uh, when you insert the key. As we have those uh, rubberish spoilers, you still uh, can press on it or, or somehow work on it. And yeah, it turns actually. My locks needs to be lubed, then they will work more uh, precise. And uh, yeah, also another thing is uh, maybe I... Uh, turning it pretty hard because uh, try to rekey uh, my locks. Uh, I will also do a, a video about uh, rekeying your locks. Now I need to find a couple solutions to finish Hot Wheels key. And be sure you are subscribed to my channel because I will end this episode here. Ring the bell because then you will be notified about part 2 for Hot Wheels key creation.